The following segment is sponsored by Moda Health. Welcome back to AM Northwest. As we approach the one year mark of the pandemic, the number of people struggling with anxiety, depression and worries just continues to grow. Here to share how you can help without leaving home, we welcome back from Moda Health Senior Manager of Behavioral Health, Dan Toma. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Helen. So talk to me about some of the common issues that you see that people are facing during this pandemic. Well, we're seeing an increase in depression, but even more so an increase in anxiety. The stress of the confinement, the stress of wondering how and when you're going to be able to get a vaccine, um, the worry about your loved ones, are, those are really creating a lot of anxiety for people. So that's the I would say the number one uh, symptom that we're that we're really seeing. Oh yes, and I've got to believe parents worried about their kids doing well in school, uh, people who can't afford to pay their mortgage or their rent, all of that. That's got to be just oh so much to deal with. Absolutely, and the stress for parents who are simultaneously working and uh, teaching their kids, and you know trying to manage both of those things. I have nothing but admiration for the people who are able to do that. Right. Absolutely. So previous to the pandemic, someone could go see a therapist in person. What can they do now? Yeah, as you said previously, you, normally you would you would call, you'd get in your car or get on the max and, and go to your therapist's office and have a face-to-face -face, uh, in-person visit. Uh, the uh, provider community really switched very rapidly and, and nimbly to providing those same services via telemedicine. So just, just the way you and I are speaking, um, live video, it's the same process, um, but you're doing it uh, over your, your laptop or your phone or your, um, or your tablet. But that's not also, it's not the only way that uh, providers are, are offering services. There's also a number of um, app-based ways that, that people obtain help. It can be anything from as simple as daily affirmations, affirmations or meditations to, uh, in some cases, a full-fledged uh, treatment program for depression and anxiety that's guided by a licensed mental health professional and includes, um, includes educational material and exercises that a person can do. So there's a lot of, uh, lot of new options out there now. Wow, what do studies reveal about the effectiveness of telehealth? There's a lot that we know, and there's also uh, a bunch that we don't know yet, but um, the, the big picture is that telehealth is very effective for treating mental health conditions. Um, there's been a number of different studies in, in, in different settings, different populations, and it's uh, almost universally shown to be effective. We don't know exactly how effective for every single population or every single condition, but overall it's, it's very effective. And there are also some, some benefits to telemedical mental health that, um, that are even better than, than what you would get in, in office care. For some people, they may be reluctant to seek care, uh, and this can lower the barriers either because they didn't want to be seen at the clinic or they didn't have time to, to drive or you know, it was difficult to get there. Um, and so one of the things that we find is that pe uh, people's engagement with services uh, via telemedicine is actually significantly higher than it is in, in office visits. Well, I would think it'd be less stressful too. You don't, as you mentioned, you don't have to worry about parking, finding a place to park, driving there, worry about mostly exactly. about what you wear. You could do it in your pajamas, all of that. Does insurance cover telehealth? Absolutely, yes. Um, so uh, the major carriers in Oregon have all really expanded their coverage for telehealth during the pandemic. Um, and so, you know, face-to-face -face, uh, sessions are definitely covered by uh, Moda and by, I think, just about every uh, carrier. Um, and then other carriers may have additional options uh, to, to explore as well. All right, we want to tell our viewers, if you would like to find out more, we'll put all the information on Moda Health uh, on our website. You can also contact modahealthminute.com. Dan, thank you. Thank you so much for having me on. You bet. We'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away.